What's up, everybody? Welcome to the next episode in our Dying Light series. In the previous episode, we completed the side mission, Incense Herbs, where we needed to go up to the, uh, sort of to the coast and collect some lavender herbs. That's this one here. Uh, today, we will be working on this mission, A Survivor's Guide to Zombieland. For some unknown reason, we are over at this outpost here. Maybe it's because of the side mission, lavender, I don't know. But we need to go all the way down here. So without further ado, let's just get straight on into it. Uh, the main reason it's a little bit weird is at the end of yesterday's episode, I decided to do a little bit of, um, I don't know if I'd call it grinding, but I was leveling up my agility skill a bit, uh, and manipulating the mechanic where if you sleep, you can get some, a free med pack and some free, um, lock picks. Wow. As you can see, I've got 51 med kits, so, you know, I was, I was doing that. And, uh, yeah. That's what I was doing, so I was at the tower, and so it's a little weird that we're all the way over here, but, you know, whatever. I don't mind running. I'm trying to get closer and closer, slowly, to getting the hook shot, but it's taken a really long time. I love the dropkick, man. The dropkick's so fun. Watch this guy. See ya. Yeah, my audio is being a little bit weird today, so I'm going to have to have a sus and see how it is at the end of the video. So hopefully it's not too bad when while we're recording it. I guess you guys would know already. <gasps> we're fine. I need to go more this way. Yeet! Made it. It's a dangerous part about this game is like sometimes you go climbing and then you're really high and you can figure out how to get down. Sometimes it's easier getting up than it is getting down. Yes, I believe we just gotta go to some guy and collect a satchel. Uh, I was gonna kill that guy. Oh well. Ah! Yay! Maybe guys. Half the time? Oh, the zombies on the other side. Gotcha. Okay, okay. We have a lot of lockpicks if we need them now, though. Oh! I didn't see that guy. Dead rat. Where's the satchel? Oh, here it is. I've right, got your satchel. Now, where's the camera? Oh my God, you're incredible! It's in the trunk of a black car on the infamy bridge. Oh, that's not what I was hoping you'd say. So, where's the infamy bridge? Got out of there smoothly. He's infected. Oh, we got another one on us now. Take advantage of the parkour. 
Are we near the tower? No. No, we're not. Why? My sound, I don't know if I was like playing on just like trash sound lately, but my sound seems so clear and loud at the moment. That explosion caught me off guard a little bit. Like I can hear everything. Okay, I need to kill these guys because I need to look at my map. To be fair, uh, I actually think I can look at the map and it pauses the game, but I didn't think about that. So I, th I sort of need to be getting up there, I think. Sorry, I just love drop kicking zombies. It's so funny watching them just ragdoll. Hello. Yeah, I think this is where we needed to be. Like that one went flying. Off of me, heathens. Doing this the old way, no traps. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, our agility is made a little bit easier when these clowns try to grab onto us. Just die. Hey, he's still not dead. Oh, great, we've got one of these. Ugh, go drop kick. I think we just took out like three zombies then. Well, this guy's back. Got another infected. See, I can stand here and fight these guys like an idiot now because I have tons of medkits. So if we get in trouble, like health-wise, I just pop one of these, full health. Okay, fuck with me. What? See, I'll just never ending, huh? Well, let's get out of here. Clearly, we didn't even need to be in here. Oh, it's up there. Oh, no way. We haven't been onto Liberty Bridge yet. I thought it was just the tunnels. Hmm. This place is pretty... Pretty zombie heavy. 
I'm not gonna lie, every time I come across those massive hordes of zombies, all I want to do is like pop my ability like I used to in Dead Island. But I can't. I'm just like, oh man, imagine how many points I'd get for this. Oh, that's a plus. Look at all these zombies, bro. I got a zombie on me, but you can't harm me. Okay. What kind of car did he say it was in? Great, now we're gonna have infected. Yep, there's one right there. <sighs> okay. Wait, maybe my quest will say. Okay, that doesn't doesn't help. Shit. We cannot be checking like every car here. Maybe if I run, you just keep running to the other end, because it'll more likely be further in than at the beginning. Yep, maybe that's it. Maybe not. Wow. Maybe it actually does want us to find it manually. No way. Maybe I should level up my power skill. This does sound cool, but I reckon I'll use this more. Well, this is actually pretty easy. Kicking heads. Get your own car. Sorry, not for nothing, but I get a lot of experience every time I kick one of these guys in the head so I kind of want to keep going just for a little bit Why do they all look like they've got, like, leprosy? We've killed a lot of zombies like this. Unfortunately, the power skill, man, it needs so much experience to level up. Look at it, we've got 5,000. We only just leveled up, and we need 25,000. I suppose because it assumes that you're, like, hitting a lot of zombies. I don't... I think, like, any area, I don't think you can actually kill all the zombies. But man, imagine doing this at night. Just 400, 400, 400. Oh, we're only going 25 for that one. 
Oh, that one too. Oh. Alright, we gotta look through this guy's, like, thing. How am I supposed to find it? It's not gonna be a police car. Ugh, guys, if you listen to the audio, you probably know what kind of car we're looking for. I didn't. Does it really not tell us in the quest? Um... It just talks about the internet cafe. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Are they pushing me? Oh, but even worse. Oh my god, I thought it was going to crash into me. Oh my god, they're dropping in after me. What the hell? That was an experience. Ooh. Okay. Guess we return to Fallon. Good effects on the like game. How it kind of makes your like vision blurry when you get out of the the water. Like that would kind of normally happen as you're like wiping water out of your eyes. I like that. Oh, this guy's in trouble. I know you're in trouble. Just hang on. Oh my god, what a drop kick, bro. What's up, guys? Should you come to this, uh,. Safe area over here. Yeah, let's get him. I'm sure it'll be fine. Bruh. You did it. Wait, this guy's name's Neil McFallon. What's your name? People are going to know about you. My name doesn't matter, because you're still not getting out of here. No one's getting out of here. But, then why'd you do it? Why risk your life like that? I thought you deserved a chance to prove me wrong. Good luck, Fallon. Yeah. Thanks. Is this guy's name not Neil? Guess we'll never know now. Okay. Well, we probably don't have time for any more missions today, but what will we work on tomorrow? Not that one. I'm not giving up my gun just yet. You know what? Maybe. No, I'm not doing that. Maybe we'll do this one. No, I'm not doing subterfuge. No, hell no. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, we could probably do that. I guess. Since we're here. I could I could make it nighttime pretty pretty easily in here. And voila. Welcome to the show. This game crushes it with the horror elements. Those screams sound terrifying. Alright guys, we are going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Plenty more Dying Light content to come. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Regular gaming. Regular gaming.